Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under with another Counter Strike Global Offensive live commentary. To the Combat Arms kids, the 15 Combat Arms kids that are like 12 years old and have never gone and seen this game again and just gonna instantly dislike it because it's not Combat Arms, please, please. Give it a chance, give it a chance, you might actually like the game. You might actually like Counter Strike Global Offensive more than Combat Arms. I know, I know, I know, it's something that even I would have never thought of a few years ago. But you guys, give it a go, give it a go boys, and you might be surprised. But with all of that said, so what was the original reason for me quitting Counter Strike? Well, the original reason was because of the rank rework. The rank rework came in and I just lost all motivation to go and play the game. And I know a lot of players are in the same boat as I. We played CS for so long and then we got to like a decently high rank. Like I was LE, almost LEM. I was basically a win off LEM. Then the rank rework came in and... It all just went down the shitter in my opinion. But it was for a good cause. It was definitely for a good cause. Now the ranks are completely shifted and I am where I belong. Well that's kind of true because I don't exactly know where I belong at the moment. Because I haven't got my competitive win yet. I had a competitive game and that's an experience I want to go and talk to you guys about. Okay so I load onto a nice match of Dust 2. It's all going well to start off the match. You know we're 11 4 T side, so everything has been A-OK, -okay. like I am pretty fucking happy at the moment. And then it just went all downhill. Our CT side, teammates were losing 1v3s, I was losing really easy 1v1s, like overall, the game, the second half was, was a mess and we just basically kicked us, so we shit our pants, we shit ourselves halfway through the match and we lost it. All I wanted, all I wanted was my competitive rank, and I know the people in the game were had like a gold Nova type rank, so I know I'm in, in that region, and that's what I kind of expected, but damn, I want to be back in the MGs and the LEs, that's what I want to do, and so, I think I'm going to go and put more time to Counter Strike Global Offensive, and that means, naturally, more Counter Strike Global Offensive videos. Now, the original reason why I didn't do a lot of CS videos was because the Combat Arms kids were like, oh, we don't like Counter Strike videos, dislike, 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 but... Throughout this year, I've grown a bit of a thick skin, even more thicker than it was before. Like before, if people disliked my videos, my Combat Arms videos, I didn't especially care. But if they disliked my uh, Counter Strike videos, I cared quite a lot. I think the type of no shits given mentality, except the stuff that actually matters, which is friends, family, and you know the uh, and assignments and whatnot. So with all of that said, wow, that was a nice headshot. So with all of that said, with all of that said. I want to go and apply that to my YouTube channel now, yeah? and I want to go and do stuff that I haven't really done before. And I know, I know I said this literally like a year ago, oh, I'm going to try this again, and then boom, you know, it didn't exactly happen. It's okay, we're going to try for the fifth time, and hopefully fifth time is the charm. Basically, content-wise, it's going to be live comms. I think live comms are something that I really like doing, especially because I can just do it on the spot, and talk about what I really want to go and talk about. It's not forced, it's free-flowing, and I love doing content like that. Live commentaries, where I just keep talking and talking and talking and talking. The best type of fun, in my opinion. If it's enjoyable for you guys to watch, well, we'll have to go and see by the like and dislike ratio. But boys, criticism is not, is not where you say, wow, undercover dudes, you're not playing combat arms, kill yourself. That is, that's not criticism. That's just you want me to play more combat arms, and... I already play enough fucking combat arms on my channel. The problem with playing a shooter like combat arms is the fact that, well, it's very small. The community is basically non-existent, and that is, that's something, oh, can you keep feeding? Oh, man, if I hit that fourth one, that would have been dirty. The community is quite small. Oh, my God, now I'm just kicking myself. Oh, my God. So, the community is very, very small, and that means potential for growth in the community is very low as well. Counter-Strike, there is millions of players, and I think growing my YouTube channel with this game could be a potential, but I can just go and apply my style that I've formed through Combat Arms, this very laid-back, casual commentary style, but then apply it to Counter-Strike and see how it works. It doesn't have to be about, the, you know, the game itself. The game can just be there as, you know, a bit of a medium. And yes, I am using the format that FaZe Jev, 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 Jevs uses because it is such a good format and he's one of, you know, a YouTuber I take a lot of inspiration from. So I thought, why not go and try it for my channel? So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to go and give it a like rating. And but other than that, Undercover Dudes, all the way from down under. I got first place. Holy shit, I got 42 kills. What the fuck? That was insane. Okay.
So, other than that, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.